Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. Got a new game that I just started playing. It is Heroes of the Storm, and I'm sure that most of you have probably already heard of it, and if you haven't, well, here it is. Um, I have only been playing this game for a couple of days, but I thought I'd do just one cast of me playing a game just to let you guys know what's going on here, and then I plan to get together with some guys and play some games at some point. If you already have a beta key to this game, please let me know. We can get together and play. And if not, enjoy the video, and if you like it, great. I'll probably do a few more of them. Um, Heroes of the Storm is kind of like League of Legends. I tried playing League of Legends and I absolutely hated it. It was just so much grinding and 20 minutes of nothing happening and it, it was abysmally boring. That's the takeaway from it. I tried it for a few days and I just couldn't take it anymore so I quit. This game moves a lot quicker. You actually get on board with some good abilities and good boosts within five minutes and you're usually attacking each other's keeps and capturing creatures within six or seven minutes. So it works out really, really well. You can get on here. I've had one match go as short as nine minutes and I think the longest match that I've played yet is about 22 minutes. So if you're into a little bit more fast paced maneuvering, I actually enjoy this because it's reminiscent of microing an ACU in Subcom. You basically just have multiple overcharges instead of a single one. Right now I'm playing this guy right here. This is Raynor, I think. Let me see. Yes, Raynor. Um, and he has two different directions you can go with his abilities. Um, I took the increased basic damage. I'm going to max him out with attack stats because this guy is brutal for repelling things. Um, he has the shotgun blast, which allows you to push enemies back away from you. And he also boosts any players or minions that are near him. So you can just hull up and roll over multiple people. You may not gain ground, but you can hold ground against a large number of people. So if you're playing, right now I'm playing in the lower ranking division and it's very easy to hold when you have a miserable team <laughs> which I have run into quite a few times I may not have the most kills but I'll get a buttload of experience points and keep the team from coming around the backside and almost ready to kill him he is wisely backing up the turrets in this one they only attack minions if minions are nearby. So you gotta wait on a clump of minions. And you can usually boost them up. And allow that allows you to run over the other guy's minions pretty easily without losing very many of your own. And advance. Now one other thing that I do like about this over League of Legends, which is basically everything because League of Legends is a terrible game, which, well, there's a lot of people that enjoy it, but not me. Um, every map has something different that you can do. Some There's one map that has a second underground level in addition to the first. And then there are... I'm trying to concentrate and play. This map in particular allows you to capture the Spider Queen. If you turn in enough of those jewels, which I am going to do right here, Oh, that was bad. That was very bad. Oh my goodness. Just about died. Going for that gem there. I'm gonna go get a drink from the fountain. It's like a little sippy cup. Makes you feel all better. I also need to do this. Um, let's do basic attack heals me. If you turn in enough of these gems... We're now we're at 21 out of 50. The spider will come help us, which is awesome. That is one other thing about this guy. If you get rolling with a group of minions and the mercenaries, and if you can get a group of the games, whatever map, whatever the map creature is, if you can get them with you, And there's a boost. Come on. There we go. 
You can get like a wall of death going on. I did try. There's two distinct ways that this can go. Um, one way is the direct attack upgrades, which is what I'm doing this time. And the other way is to... Uh, why is he focus firing on me? That is very strange. Get away from here. The other way is to up his boosting abilities. And this guy actually has the ability to bribe mercenary camps instead of... Let me see if I can... Uh, there we go. This is a mercenary camp. I'm not going to mess with them. They're not going to mess with me. But if you get a couple of people together and you capture a mercenary camp, they come fight for you. And this guy can actually earn money by killing normal minions with which he can bribe his mercenary camps instead of having to actually kill them. Which is extremely handy. You can save up 50 bucks and bribe three of the guys and then kill the fourth if it's a four, four mercenary camp or however that goes. But I've tried that on a couple of different games. I think it will be a much more powerful ability once I get up to where I'm playing with some guys who are actually focusing on teamwork. But at this point in the game, that doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. I get a lot more use out of the brute damage. I'm going to go turn in jewels because I think I can get the queen with this. See how many I got here. Yep. Weavers on the way. Now, one other thing that I did do right here is I got the power-up that makes my shotgun blast slow down. Uh, whatever it is. Penetrating round, that's what the ability is called. Um, it makes it slow down the enemy, so that way, if someone is pursuing me... And here comes the Spidey. If someone is pursuing me, I'm going to boost him. And I totally should have aimed that over there. As they're running after me, I can actually shotgun them in the face, which pushes them back. And then in addition to pushing them back, it also slows them down so they can't pursue as quickly. Which works beautifully. I mean beautifully. Alright, doing quite well for ourselves here. Broke down the first gate. And this sucker right here is epic. That is my Hyperion Cruiser, I think. Yes. Ah, stupid phone. Go away. Hyperion Cruiser is basically blanket damage. That It's an area attack, and then the other ability that I can use is a single attack. It's an attack on a single target, but it does a whole lot of damage. It's like a pair of, um, I think they're banshees. As you can tell, I'm not up on StarCraft lore because I was never a really big StarCraft player, so to each his own. That's right, you run back into your hidey hole there. Need to lure him out if he thinks I'm at a disadvantage here. If I can get one good shotgun blast in, he's probably regened enough health by now to survive it. But oh well. This game, like most others in this category, you have health and mana. Mana for your abilities, health is obvious. What I'm really waiting for is later on in my upgrade tree I get a double shotgun. Let's me shoot twice, which is absolutely brilliant. Holy cow, I've got 25 crystals already. I'm going to pick up these three, and I can call the spider again. I need some minions before I tackle that group. Boost you guys, shotgun you guys in the face. That looks tasty.
Ah, second charge. There we go. And as you'll notice, I actually got around to setting up my hotkeys for this game. I never did for Supreme Commander because I found them quite uh, unnerving. I could never bring myself to play long enough to get used to them. I just, it's not my thing. But on this game, it's kind of essential because things get stupid if you're not using, um, oh, I need to get out of there. Crystals, crystals. This game is ridiculous if you're not using hotkeys, so. I finally caved in and did so. As you'll notice, I've been in this bottom lane by myself basically the entire game. Which is fine, because I'm holding up very well. And doing what I need to do, but it is a slight bit boring when there's not a whole lot of people. Where the real fun comes in with this is when you are able to get five people together in a push. Now over here you can see there's already four over here with a group of minions is basically wrecking the place and uh, there's only one hero up there defending. I may actually need to go help out because right now my life is pretty easy. Kaboom. Alright, there's two up there now so we should be good. That's one thing you got to be very careful of, because as the game progresses, the more you... Yeah, I'm going to run out. The more that you upgrade yourself, the longer your cooldown is to regenerate. So, at the beginning of the game, it only takes like five seconds to respawn. And at this point in the game, you're out of the game for like a minute. Which is a huge detriment to your team. I'm going to turn in because I got a 17. Have I died yet? I don't think I've died yet. Oh, kill. There we go. Oh, well, hello there. You're dead. No, you're not. No, don't get away from me. We'll hunt you down to the ends of the earth. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the kind of play that I like. <laughs> that was evil. Alright, Penetrating Round does more damage per strike. So it, the more enemies that I hit with a single shot, the more my damage stacks up. You can see I took off like a third of his health with that second shot. Which works out brilliantly. I keep using brilliantly in this cast. This is going to be my sponsored word for the day. Ah, I'm not going to bother with that. Only three spiders. Nothing there. Got two heroes, though. If you can manage to line up at this stage, if you can line up all the minions in a line and hit every single minion with the shotgun, you can one-hit kill a group of minions. Which is... Amazing. All right, let's click the region. Oh, crystal, crystal. Probably need to turn these in. I don't have enough to tip it yet. Oh, oh. Oh, lots of them. There's one. Kind of tangled up in everybody here. Alright. Looking good, looking good. And we're now... Assaulting the core. This is the end game right here. Hey, never turn down a kill if you can get it. Oh, I need to get out of here. No! So many minions. That is a very large bullet. I believe that thing goes all the way across the map, which is kind of redunculous. 
All right, I'm going to go down here. We need... Ah, we can capture this mercenary camp. And now these mercenaries will follow us. I need to break the bottom portion of the map here. Because if I can break the bottom, um, that will let all of the mercenaries up through to where we are. When you can get all waves to attack the core at once, then you're doing pretty well for yourself. Alright, I'm going to do that. I am going to go down here. Oh, crap. Where am I going to run? What is holding them? I guess they're just running into other minions. Alright. I'm currently sitting on 18. Ah, no deaths. Not so many takedowns, but pretty good, decent amount. Alright, full health, full mana, and a virtual armada with me. I bet this is the one that breaks it. I'm going to boost, and this is going to boost so many things. Now let's lay down the hero power. Focus fire on this, and we're done! See? That wasn't so bad. 15 minutes! I think... <laughs> That is shorter than the absolute shortest match of League of Legends that I ever played. That, uh, that is one of the main things that I like about this. So, that is Heroes of the Storm. And I am a fan. I do like this game. It is probably not going to capture my attention for the length of time that some other games have. But it is some simple, awesome fun. It is just plain fun to play. And if anybody that's watching this has a account with this that has a beta key i would love to get in touch with you and play i need a group of people to play this with as most of the people that i game with do not play this game Alrighty then that's gonna wrap up this video hopefully you enjoyed it a like if you liked it thumbs down if you disliked it and please leave a comment i love to discuss things with you guys and keep in touch with you and with that i am out of here we'll see you in the next video